What is good? Got no beer, so one with a fake. Uh, we're back. But you're being like, Psh. yeah, sure, we can do that. Because uh, you got the shirt on for it. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. It's kind of. You just look at it. Kind of Kooji like. Not quite in the Kooji family, but very Arizona like. The fuck is Kooji? Uh, I don't know what Kooji is either. What could he do? Uh, Got any turquoise? What? We already went over this. Yeah, but not no. on there. No, not on there. No, okay. I own zero turquoise. All right. I just like the aesthetic. All right. Fair enough. Is turquoise something other than a color? Oh, if you live in yes. Arizona it's a, or it's a Mexico, gem. they're very into turquoise. They it's make- a what? It's Jesus. a gem? Just move it. Move forward. Just move forward. People have already tuned you need, out. You need to type a, a whole, you know. It's a Jason. It's a documentary rock. Documentary. It's about. a rock. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. I didn't hear you. You said Jim. You could have said yes. I got yeah, it. You got to tumble it. Well, you had a, it. You, you put some questioning on the end of it? <laughs> hmm? What's a turquoise? What are we doing today? <laughs> Apparently. You got any gems for Learning us? about turquoise. You um, got any turquoise? You're from New Mexico. Targets? Yeah, anyways, you live in New Mexico. <laughs> this is true. Oh. <sighs> Anyhow, we're going back to the trade targets, back to the well. We're going wide receivers this time. Looks more like a teal. <laughs> Fucking turquoise. Enough. I'm going to kick it off with Chris Godwin. Rod God. Rod God. Just Penn State out the yin. You're getting Penn State every show. Woo! Got a Penn State center drop That's a little while much. ago. Yeah, back up a little bit. Got a, uh, got a little miles on the last one. Now we're getting Godwin on this one. What are we going next? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, there is a Penn State guy on the tight end, so woo, look at you. Just really walking around the bases right now. All right. I'm walking on sunshine. Godwin arguably has, you know, a down year in some of his categories, but it seems like from where he came from and where, like what he started with this season, with which was an injury, he put up a, a fantastic season here and there was a lack of a little bit of a run game with Tampa because the yeah. offensive line was banged up so you know Godwin kind of turned into a little bit more of a not not quite a, the depth of target uh, wasn't necessarily there and his yards per reception are, were at an all time low we went from 15.4 to start the career down to 9.8 this year uh, but throughout that he's 11th in targets 137 6 in receptions with 104 really um, 1,023 yards, that's good for 20th. Um, so, you know, Yak, 522, good for fourth. Um, 5.0 Yak per reception, 10th. Um, and that's, that's you know, filtering back to 50% of 176 because if you the Yak per reception goes up with, with the guys who have a lot less Yak. So most of this is 20% um, yeah, of that. Sure. And then yards, yards per route run, 1.76, good for 32nd. Uh, 72% in the slot, 26% out wide, 11 missed tackles fourth, good for 14. Um, so, you know, Godwin. How do you do in um, uh, contested catches? Uh, that's a good question. I don't I'm, have that, I'm looking it up that information. He, that's, um, where he, that's where he was elite at at Penn State, so I'm just looking but, that up real quick. You know, obviously came in week one and then missed two and three and then comes back, and then since then, um, you know, the the – Obvious. Seventh in the league in contested catches. Obviously, the reception total was number six. But since after coming back from an ACL, which was a, a tough injury late, a little bit later in the season, comes back, misses two games, has a bulky knee brace on there for a little bit. Then he has seven receptions, six receptions, six receptions, seven receptions, six receptions, seven receptions, six receptions, 12 receptions, eight receptions, five mm-hmm. receptions, mm-hmm. eight mm-hmm. receptions, eight mm-hmm. receptions, nine receptions, six receptions. This guy was just a fucking machine this year. Um, and it just feels like he's kind of slipped under the radar from, you know, all the positives that he's had this year coming back from an injury. Now, we think that Brady is probably gone. Yeah, I think that's a safe assumption. So that's going somewhere. That's probably, you know, keeping maybe a little bit of the Godwin hype down. And, and you could get upset that and look at the numbers. And if you're looking st- st- solely at the numbers, there is a little bit of a decline. But you got to put it all in context here from kind of how they were using him, what they needed to do, like I said, help him replenish that run game a little bit tom speaks nothing but you know highly of him and he you know he was kind of saying like we put godwin in a situation where it's not like he was coming back and off an acl and we were putting him 
situations where he wasn't in the middle of the field catching screens, being able to take contact on that on that leg where as maybe if you played a little bit more outside, you could safeguard your leg a little bit. Godwin was right in the thick of everything. And I think kind of the, the way the usage like I'm talking about kind of backs that right up. And yeah, do we know what this quarterback situation in Tampa is going to be? No, not really. No, but I don't think it's Blaine Gabbert next year. Uh, it's a hundred percent not Blaine Gabbert next year, and you know it's not Kyle Trask either. Just to, just to just to put that out there. Yeah. Universe. Now they could draft one, or they could trade for one. Jimmy G could come in there. Derek yeah. Carr could come in there. There's yeah, there's could, a multitude I, of other quarterbacks I that could move around. Maybe Miami takes Tommy. Tua takes Tampa, or uh, Tampa takes Tua. You know, we, we don't know what's going on with the concussions. They're, they're, they could call Tua being hurt right now could poten- and not knowing the future could potentially hurt Miami's chances of, of winning. And they, they're, they're tied to Tommy. Tommy's kids live in Miami, um, or at least Stephen two Ross, of them. Stephen Ross is the, one of the biggest boosters in Michigan for, for right. the University of and Michigan. He's got a minority owner who's a really good friend of his in the Dolphins. Um, so, you know, a lot of things line up for Tom, you know, potentially being in Miami. I know the Raiders want him, but... You know, there, there are still options at the quarterback there. And, I mean, fuck, worst case scenario, what maybe Mitchell Trubisky's your fucking starter there next year, and I'm not even that upset about it. Like, Godwin would be just fine with, with him. Like, he can, he can get you done enough to be all right. Like, I mean, you look around at that receiving core, I mean, Julio's not going to stay around. I'm not worried about Russell Gage, and, and Mike Evans is 30, 31. He's only um, 29, but. Uh, I'm sure he's an August baby, so um, he's either 30 or 31. I believe um, Mike Evans is 29. He'll be 30 in August. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm not all that concerned with Tommy going away. Now, Tommy definitely led to some of these good numbers here. It, I think, I think, for, I think Brady, uh, set the record for, for most, most pass attempts. Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. Again, going back to the run game, not being, well, the offensive line was decimated right. before the season even started. Right. Yeah. Tommy was like, I gotta take a vacay. During training camp, this is depressing. But Godwin, he was getting divorced with his I wife. Was trying to spin it. Godwin's been good with with was good with Jameis. You know, yeah. Let's bring Jameis back. Well, you, I think certainly. See, I mean, a point I wanted to make, especially going through this, we're working on this startup mock draft uh, with some other guys in the, in the podcast world, um, and it's super flex. There's not very many appealing quarterbacks to draft. Like the the NFL needs some new quarterbacks and that's why I like guys like Carr and Jimmy and Purdy and anyone who showed anything is going to sure have is. a job. Some somebody in San Francisco is going to be the odd man out, so that's another quarterback, you know, we don't know if it'll be Trey or Purdy, but I can't imagine they're maybe they go into next season with both of them, but you know, like so you said, I, I don't know. I don't know that I feel that great about what Tampa could do without Tommy because it's going to be a bummer no matter what. I don't need them to be great. Like he doesn't need to. Shit, like they weren't. They, they weren't great Aaron, with Jamison. What if they bring in Aaron Rodgers? Sure. I mean, I, I, what year did Tommy come in? Twenty twenty? Is that when they? This is, he's yeah. been there two years. He's been there yeah. two years. Yeah. I this mean, this is his third year there. This was a third year. Mm-mm. Yes, they won the Super Bowl year one, and then they lost oh, to the true. Rams. You're right. Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. I'm right. <laughs> Uh, so you know, hundred four dick about it. One hundred and fourteen targets and eighty six receptions in nineteen, and and in twenty twenty eighty three and sixty five. You know, th- those are those are numbers are good. Th- Thirteen hundred yards, five fifteen point five yards per reception, nine touchdowns. Without like, he can be like he's a, he's a fucking fantastic receiver. Is basically the point that I'm trying to get across. Yeah, he came from being injured to coming back where Michael Gallup has been. You know, I had a bad injury as well, but Michael Gallup is where, and Godwin just went through this whole season um, and just continued to get better. And, you know, we're about to get, you know, maybe they even go to a, a, a maybe they get past the Cowboys uh, this week, and this will be Cowboys, out after. Cowboys play bad on the road. This will be out after this, that, that game. So you'll be saying, no, he's out eliminated, or yes, he's moving on. And, and he really is a quarterback's best friend. You know, even if you're not a great quarterback, you're going to be looking at Godwin because you mentioned the contested catches yeah, at Penn that, State. Just ask Christian out. Hackenberg. Uh, you know, that, that certainly instills confidence in the quarterback thrown at you. But also at Penn State, he was wide the fuck open. This man is a master separator. Separator. He knows how to manipulate defenders and get open, and, and, and he can do that anywhere on the field. And that's probably what led to all those ridiculous catch numbers is because Tommy's like, fuck, I got to get rid of it kind of quick. My offensive line sucks. They're all injured, which I mean, if they all came back healthy, I don't know why Tommy wouldn't just stay in Tampa Bay. They have weapons. They have rapport. He loves Leftwich. Like you got 
you got everything you want if all those guys come back healthy, you know. But it already almost seems like a done deal that he's either he's not going to be there for one reason or the other. Right. Yeah, no, but I, I think it seems seems to be he's looking seems to find like a good the, situation for looking, anyone to come into. He's looking to go to the where, where the babes are at, whether it be Miami or Vegas. Yeah, Tampa's not he's his, single uh, now. Yeah, it was, seems a bit geriatric. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> they, maybe they maybe they grab themselves a quarterback in in the two three range and see if they can develop him and then bring maybe in, like a Max Dugan, else. or I mean, maybe they get Hendon Hooker, like you know. Mm. Who like knows? That. Um, prostitute. Um, <laughs> sure. Um, all right. So that's God. Se- sorry. Sorry. It's, I believe it's sex worker now. Yeah. Um, so that's God when he's first on the list, a little, little higher up, a uh, little, little probably more expensive, but I think the value again is down on Godwin. And I think he's just a very good receiver. I didn't realize the stats were that good this year. And, and I don't, I don't really care who the quarterback is. Obviously it's beneficial to have a good one. But, you but the fact that it probably fine. won't be Tommy is driving his value down. I, I don't even buy. know that that's what's driving the value down. Like I just, I just think some of it. I just, just think not, that people, he's just not sexy. I just think I would have bet you a hundred dollars that Chris Godwin didn't catch a hundred balls this I, year. That's what I'm saying. I don't think anybody realizes that that reception total is where it was. Like they just think it was, you know, just a, a, a down year for Chris you, Godwin. You missed two games and you still catch a hundred balls. That's ridiculous. And and have an ACL injury. So yeah. And hundred, yeah, yeah, just a lot of great things to say about my boy Rod. All right, who you got? Uh, I'm going a little cheaper here, uh, going into the rookie sphere. Nice. I'm going with Alec Pierce. Okay. Again, quarterback worries. But I think the quarterback. I mean, it can't get worse. Right. Right. It really. <laughs> That's what we keep saying really in Indianapolis. Can't. We keep like, saying it can't get worse, do? and it keeps going backwards. But watch, they're gonna just draft like they're gonna draft Will Levis. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's the same thing. I would. I don't know enough yet to be discouraged about Will Levis, but I'm not encouraged about Will Levis. It's hard to be encouraged about Will Levis. Yeah. So um, the tools big, are there. Other than the wet T-shirt contest that you drop. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wet T. I mean, he would crush a wet T contest. <laughs> what are you What's talking about? Wet T-shirt. That's what all I'm saying. Maybe that was just me what and you. What are you that did talking that about? No, no. We. Yeah. We. You might not have been here. I don't know. I'm glad I wasn't here. What are you talking he about? He looks good with his shirt off. Apparently. Yes. Oh, okay. Workout warriors. There is one appeal to. Maybe the biceps are a little too to big. A bit of donacy. Yeah. Too big. Hurting his. Uh, All the nutrients are in that banana peel. Well, I I saw in like two different group chats, and man, they posted that video of Will Levis like throwing the football indoors from like two years ago. I'm like, this video is two years old. Yeah. I guess the big. Well, getting on a Will Levis. Till yeah. here. The big thing, like I heard a while ago, I've said it a couple times on the show, is that he's going to interview extremely well. He's great in those situations, and which is is what oh, he seems a like super likable guy. Yeah, really say that he he can he can grab a locker room, and he's great with the coaches and in that environment. So that's going to drastically help him out. But Alec Pierce, what what do we like about Alec Pierce? So I think that Pierce has shown his ability as a good deep as a good deep ball threat and and as a red zone threat too. That's not some not something you see all the time. Normally the re- the deep ball guys aren't your red zone threats, but I think he's been able to show that in limited work that he's been able to do well in those two things. Again, I think a QB upgrade is is gonna happen there. Whether it's I don't know Derek Carr, Jared Goff, I don't I, I don't know Jimmy G. Somebody's gonna come in there that's gonna be have to be better than Matt Ryan or Sam Ellinger or Nick Foles was. So, um, and then the other thing is that Paris Campbell and Ashton Doolin are both free agents going right. into the off season, and I don't. Even if one of those guys doesn't come back, I think that's a I think that's a good thing for Pearson. There's a decent chance that both of them don't come back. I mean, he was I think a third round pick last year. Second, second, was he a second round pick? Second round pick in the draft. Yeah, the NFL draft. Yeah, I believe so. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. I know he's a second round pick of a lot of rookie drafts in I'm, fantasy. I'm getting but, it right now. Uh, uh, he was drafted with. In the second round, yeah, second round pick. I mean, so he's got draft capital there. Got athleticism. Clearly, got the height. Got drink. the speed. Great athleticism. Clearly, is it still Ballard there? Yep. Ballard likes him. I mean, I don't know how the. I mean, the new coaching staff. So that's the only worry you have there. Um, well, I think the important thing for me with Alec Pierce is that he his game translated from Cincinnati to the pros. He was winning deep at Cincinnati. He was making contested catches at Cincinnati, and he comes in the NFL, and he's that big body receiver who can go up in tight quarters and also has some speed right he showed that he blew up the combine and you you see him getting behind defenses and you see him going up in the air and making these tight contested catches 
you love to see those flashes. You know, he didn't blow up the league like a lot of rookies do. And if you don't blow it up, if you're not Ricky Bobby's high dad, you know, <laughs> saying that if you're not first, you're last. Re- Reese Bobby. Then <laughs> it was Reese. Okay. Ricky Bobby's dad and he's high, right? <laughs> People live their life by that motto because of that fucking movie. I don't know. It's probably not because of that movie. But like in Dynasty, if you're not the fucking best, you're the fucking worst. You already you alluded it to it. You alluded to it on the running back portion of the of tonight's recording and yeah but there were flashes you know there were sure. for sure flashes so what do you want to pay for alec pierce because we we talked about him during the season and we were giving up the mid two right i don't think i want to do that right now i don't think you need to do that i think i'm willing to do that but i don't think that's where his value is at i think he's probably going at a third yeah i would give up the third. I'd, I'd still give up i'd still give up what his rookie value was for him i think he's that i think he's Worthy of that asset, mid to late too. Yeah, but I don't think you're paying that right now. I think you're paying probably the, probably the three. Might be a little nice little kicker. In Dose a trade. trace. Dose threes. Oh yeah, those. I thought, I thought, you, I thought you, I, Sorry, I had Pence in my mind. I thought, thought you were talking about Trace McSorley. <laughs> nope, nope. Don't want anything to do with him. I'll trade the two Trace McSorleys for Pearson. If, in it. <laughs> if he's the quarterback for Tampa Bay, I'm out on Godwin. <laughs> All right, so All Alec right. Pierce on the list. I like that. I had him on there. I also had Paris Campbell on there. I, I, I won't quit him, and he, he did enough this year. So cheap Paris Campbell in a deal. Got to target Paris Campbell. Paris. For sure. I'm going to go back up a little more expensive, more than Alec Pierce here. I'm going to go Deontay Johnson. Um, again, I think it's very similar to Godwin. Um, he, he has to lead the lead in boneheaded plays. Oh, for sure. Just what he bad drops, and, dumb shit. Well, he's like he catches the ball and then runs five yards backwards and fumbles yeah. the ball. Like it's it's the thi- it's those it's the 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 breaks that he has on ball like on his routes. It's just the only, it's that's why I want him. No, for sure, he's a good player. Right, he just right. makes bad decisions. A hundred percent. I think he's definitely a little bit of a dingus. Um, and you know. We'd Roethlisberger like, would keep going back to him, but now Kenny Pickett's got George Pickens in there. Well, see, but again, I think people don't realize that he went back to him plenty. He was sixth in targets. He had 141 targets last year. Like, it's not like Kenny Pickett came in. They were like, oh, we're not throwing it to that guy. They went to fucking Deontay Johnson, the sixth most in the entire fucking league. Um, they just... Some might say that was, that's good. Right. That's pretty good. Um, and I don't think people realize that. I think people have the opinion of, you know... It, it's it wasn't it wasn't a great year for Deontay Johnson. It wasn't that great of a year for Deontay Johnson. We talked about meat on the bone. There was a ton of meat on the bone here. There was zero touchdowns out of 141 targets. He came with eight last year. I mean, again, that's Dwayne, down, that, that's Dwayne Bowian, right, right, right. <laughs> down in a whole lot of categories. A rookie quarterback, and now you could be you could. Some people say Pickett stinks. I think I think Pickett's shown me enough. Yeah, to I, be I'm, excited I'm, moving I'm into next year. I'm more excited about Pickett now than I was at the beginning of the season. Right. The offensive line stinks. You have to be. The, the sentiment I mean, I in Pittsburgh. Don't, don't tell them what to do. Is the route concepts and the way they run their stuff is very vanilla, bland, basic. Yeah, well, again, I think Canada's that gone. Maybe Canada could be out of there. Uh, maybe We're Deontay Johnson's out of there. There's been a little. He, he had a cryptic tweet yesterday. I don't know what that was about. And at this point, it's probably two weeks ago. This is what wide receivers this. do. Right. Um, but, you know, 86 receptions with those 141 targets, that's good for 13. Only 882 yards, zero TDs, like I said. Um, ADOT was, uh, I believe, 10.5, eight drops. Uh, so, you know, and that might have been, that ADOT might have come down. I think that was from uh, a few when, when we were at like 15 or 16 games. And I charted that because um, we were going to talk about him with, with uh, JB, but we never got to him. So, Really, for me, 167 points, 11 points per game for Deontay Johnson, and I just feel like we, um, and I think I think that was again. I don't think I updated those stats. I think that was from like two or three weeks to go in the season, um, or maybe I did. Either well, way, I'm, I'm confused because you said 141 targets, targets, right? And that's definitely what PFF has. Looking at sleeper, they got 100. And, 47 targets but the same amount of receptions and the same amount of yards so yeah i mean something's up but irrelevant um it was a, it was off between godwin too there was inflated receptions on sleeper so yeah but deontay moving forward in this situation things should improve he signed up there claypool's now gone they have pickens maybe he takes a step forward yeah Friar i think, I think, I, good. think I think the steelers are probably pretty set with their with their top 
offensive weapons. Right. Now they certainly could draft another wide receiver. They seem but, to like to. Um, and they get the two one from Kiefer to Claypool. Claypool. Yeah. Great decision. So there, they could fucking they, fantastic. Yeah. They could you know roll that up again. But Deontay Johnson again. It really just comes down to like it, this was driven by me and Big Co talking about Deontay Johnson selling through a, a playoff period where you know if you look at the 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 points per game and the points on Deontay Johnson's you know a uh, little sleeper graph there um they're not great but they're not absolutely horrible and again there was there was meat on the bone there to be had and and i think you know th- there's there, i i think there's another hundred points to be had in the Deontay johnson of, of the targets uh, and the volume that he could see that, that we didn't get this year um a hundred points i think so with yardage and touchdowns i mean zero from eight I yeah. mean, eight would seem like what sh- it should I be. I was going to have one this past week and got tackled. He was two, five, seven, eight, and then zero. He had 180 PPR points this past year. He had 276, so almost 100 right. more last Fair year. Enough. So I, I think I think that's all all eight right touchdowns. there. He's not super old, and I think he's you know he's one of the more electric guys. He had 176 targets last year. Right, and it didn't the good what like again. What's good is that it didn't. You were worried about it with Pickett coming in, and and Pickett wasn't even the guy the whole year, um, and it didn't really change that much. Um, so Deontay Johnson is a buy for me. I think the community as a whole is very down on Deontay Johnson. Um, we could bring up this draft right here. I believe he, he fell. I, I actually just kept passing on him to see how long he would fall. I think it was, and I believe Big Co took him at eight two. Yeah, yeah, eight two for Deontay Johnson. And a, a three a wide receiver, you have to start brand new lead. startup. To be fair, Big Co didn't know it was three wide receiver, so I told him. Um, Why would he? You gotta look color at me surprised. <laughs> I didn't either. So I don't um, look at the league settings of a of not a, start a fucking up. mock. Yeah, no, it yeah, doesn't matter. Mock, yeah. but, and it is a mock, and I, I let Deontay go a few rounds too, just because I was like, "Fuck it, let me." I, When's this, this man gonna go? We're mocking. That was Bico's first wide um, receiver. So, but Deontay Johnson, I think, is just a screaming buy right now for all the volume that he get. The good, the, as good of a player as he is, again, like I said. The way he gets in and out of breaks, there there isn't too many guys who can, Jack Rabbit who can actually you know stop and go as quick as he can, um, and it's the like explosion's Jack good. Janoris Jenkins got to stop doing dumb shit, but um, you mean right. Jack Rabbit <laughs> Jenkins? God, I hate it. Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit the just worst. kept saying it's it over awful. and over. Again. So bad. Woof. The worst. Um, but you know, I think the yak is down. Yak per reception down. Um, so you know, I think all that stuff can go back up. I think. Um, Deontay Johnson moving forward is is right now uh, one of the bigger buys. Adot was up though for me. Um, what do you got? Must mean he's good. Must mean he's good. Um, I have one of my personal favorite fantasy football players, Jacoby Myers. All right, free agent. Free agent to be. Um, nobody did you know, likes. Did you Jacoby. know Jacoby Myers was a wide receiver too the last two years? I knew that he was a wide receiver too last year, but I I was. This is number twenty eight, so fringy two. Oh, two, yeah, that would be a three. Well, that's what right. The hell there. am I talking three. about? And three, two and a half. A what top in three though. Wrote, yeah, and I would assume I wrote two down. I guess I saw twenty, and I was like, oh, that's a wide receiver too. Again, quietly though, having a nice another season in a sixteen man league. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, but I mean, J- Jacoby Myers is one of those guys that if you don't have him, you have no idea how. No, many but the is. problem is, is the, in, in any league that I'm in, I have him in all the right. leagues, <laughs> so yeah. it doesn't matter. So I have him in those leagues already because I was buying him after he was blowing up in the in the uh, when he was when he was doing well as a rookie the same year as um uh, and Keel Harry, who's no longer even on the team. I was buying him for thirds. Right. It's like, oh, he's having a good. Oh, I'll buy him for a third. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's paid off so far. I mean. What was he, a seventh round pick? Yeah. I think super late. A, yeah, he was a super late pick. I, he's, I don't think the value is necessarily now. He is a free agent, could go somewhere else and get a little more shine. Yeah, but, I think, I and I don't see how he does There is no do hype that. for him right now. Yeah, there's I mean, no hype for he him. Just, all he does is catch passes. He's, he's had a little a, bit of a rickety, he wasn't even rickety dry. leg knee kind of deal, but UDF. stays on the injury report. UDFA. Yeah. Yeah, but he plays. He does play. You remember that league? You remember that? You remember that? We have him in that, in the. Uh, in the Patreon league, like, oh, should we start him? And he blows up for like two. He had like um uh, like a hundred yards, and I don't he mean, scored six yards. touchdowns this year. Yeah, that, really right. that was yeah. that was sort of the bugaboo. Was, yeah. If he would have scored, I don't think he's. I think he might have had zero last year. Two. He, he had two. Two. Um, he had two. Zero the year that he he didn't have any before. Yeah. He, that. Yeah. yeah. So that 
you know, he would have easily been a wide receiver too if he could have caught a couple more touchdowns last year. Um, but this year was was pretty strong with Mac. I mean, again, not a whole lot going on up there. Um, yeah, he just dinged up. He was a defensive up coordinator year. calling plays. Right. Yeah. So oh my just, gosh! Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know how it can't get better this year. And I think he 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 had more points last year than he did just because of the touchdown. So right. um, he is twenty six, going on twenty seven, but. But he's not that kind. Of, that, that's young he enough. Just, he just turned twenty six. He turned twenty six right, in, in November. And, yeah. and yeah. he's not. He's not a, a guy who's. He's not a speed. On, nope. He's not a speed right. merchant. He's, he's kind of like. He's kind of like a bit of a dollar store Chris Godwin. Sure. And I think they're Godwin's kind of, got good speed though. Godwin blew up the combine. Well, yeah, he goes to Penn State. So what do you expect? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love the the Myers buy there though. What do you know about Dwight good. Galt? It's still still very cheap. Nah. You Throw him in in all sorts of packages and, and people. Oh will be yeah, willing to give. But him don't up. come sniff around me because I'm not. I'm. I, I want value for him. But you're I'm not going to s- trade him anyway. Send him. No, out. exactly. Send no. Him. All right, I got you. Good. You got any more? No, I mean, I all think. Right. I mean, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. I mean, what are you paying? Honestly, if you were sending an offer for Jacoby Myers right now, what are you giving for him? I mean, I'd send two threes. Right, I mean, I'm not gonna overpay because I don't think you're saying you you want you're driving at the two. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll try and get him a different way. You know, yeah, I think he's a perfect like. Oh, he's a good throw, throw in yeah. player, right. which is kind of what we've been the theme of all these guys. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that's like a couple of them were like, yeah, go ahead and get him, Godwin, De- Deontay, uh, yeah. Najee, but the rest of those guys have become yeah, the, the theme yeah, was yeah. The two guys I threw in definitely were more throw in players, but I think players that you should yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with throwing. Myers players. is a fantastic wide receiver, three second, He's a, yeah, second exactly. flex guy. I mean, Pierce is a little more of a dart throw, but Myers can be in your starting lineup, oh, especially sure. in a three in a must start three wide receiver league. He should be in your lineup almost every week. That's a that's a savvy two two twelve. Maybe get a third or something else back. Just grab some more points in your lineup. You're already yeah. a good team. Maybe there's a tier of players you like in your rookie right, draft. Right. Move back four spots, five spots. Get Jacoby Myers in that deal. Yeah. You know, something like that. Yeah, love, love it. that. Love it. I'm very interested to see where he ends up at, though. I'm hoping that he ends up in a in an advantageous spot. I'm, I'm I can't think of anything off the top of my head about where I'd want him to go, but um, maybe somewhere like Minnesota. Mm. Maybe he maybe he fills in the maybe he, I, I, I don't know what Thielen's contract looks like, but he plays the Thielen know. role there. Maybe, just, maybe just, he goes hangs out with Aaron Rodgers next year. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a weak wide receiver free agent class, right? Well, that's that. That was going to kind of lead me into uh, the, my my last guy on on the list here. I'm not going to get super cheap. We talked a little Paris. You, you threw a Pierce in there. Um, I think Thornton from the from the Patriots is a probably. Oh, a nice, he's probably hella cheap. Nice cheap cheap guy with some speed who didn't play a whole lot and again he had some flashes though yeah had, had an injury leading into the season and then again they got a weird situation going on over there yeah um but darnell mooney is the is the last guy for me um and i was big on mooney last year it didn't work out it was kind of ugly they were low lowest of all teams basically of and a lot of passing categories yeah it was a weird year there in in chicago um but Really, what it comes down to me is, yeah, Claypool's there. Um, Bust. Whatever. Yeah, but. But leading into kind of what you, where is Myers going to land? Like, he's, like, we talk about this free agent class. The free agent class is Aguilar, Shepard, DJ Chark, who I like, was on the tra- on the Dynasty Stashes. Go trade for him. Marvin Jones, Julio Jones, Byron Pringle, who's a bear. Uh, Alan Lazard, Jacoby Myers. Did you, did you see that Lazard? I saw Somebody posted a Lazard video in one of the group chats. I mean, he's like, he was like, oh, this is my last. He's like, yeah, basically, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> he's yeah. done. Yeah. I'm fucking out of here. Jarvis <laughs> Juju is probably the biggest name on there. And would you be surprised if he was a chief next year? No, no. no. Um, you know, so Crowder, Watkins, Doolin, Paris, yeah. Harry, you know, so this wide receiver. Harry. Jacoby Myers is a top 10 free agent <laughs> easily. <laughs> wide receiver wise, for sure. Maybe um, top five. So, you know, if you and now the Bears certainly can and should draft a wide receiver 
Yeah. But that's we don't well, know. They if need that's, to, well, they're going to because they're going to trade back and get a, something fucking sweet, right? To trade back from the one on one. We don't know if that guy's going to hit or be good. I know for a fact that Ma- Mooney's probably not a one, but I think he can be a one B. Yeah. And if you can put another guy out there, this is a guy who had over 120 targets last year. He's a game breaker. He started to come on uh, at one point in the year, a little a little later in the year, albeit. Um, but oh, sure, he was. He he became startable after being very devastating. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. but finished ba- finished bad, with thirteen bad three weeks, thirteen eight, twelve, seventeen nine, thirteen. You know, that was right. he yeah. started to become a wide receiver three. Fields, in your must start three wide receiver leagues. You know, started getting it going with him a little bit, and I guess really my big point is is that there isn't a big free agent class to bring in here. So if you if you bring in Lazard or Jacoby Myers, I don't. That's not a threat to Mooney necessarily uh, for me. Uh, I would love if a Jacoby Myers came in there and Mooney could work a little bit more over the top, give him yeah. some screen, manufacture some touches, and then give him those big explosive plays because Mooney will go up and get it too. He's not the biggest guy, but he's the, he's really fast and he's not scared to go get it. He's a playmaker. Um, and Fields him and him have a little bit of a rapport yeah, kind of sure. going on, and they could draft a guy, but we don't know if that guy is going to hit and how fast that guy's going to acclimate. And yeah, we've been it's been great for receivers lately, but plenty of teams have the guy that didn't work out on him, and and we don't know if that's going to be the Bears or. Or not so I just feel like there is still a very large window for Mooney and, and, and I can pretty much guarantee you that the Bears are not going to be in the same situation of being bottom of every lot of passing categories moving into next year we I think I think bottom of the league I think I we could disagree I think we could at least get in the middle of the pack there and and be a little bit of Mooney of the season prior to this one where he picked up and then kind of what you saw at in the middle to the end of the season with Mooney obviously he was injured uh, but the value is super down on Mooney. Oh, yeah. I, I just picked him in like the 11th or 12th round in this draft that we're I in. I was so mad. I was just going to see how far Mooney would fall. I was going to take him. I forget who I picked instead. But And I think this is this is a playmaking wide receiver who can get volume, but also can 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 get you deep. And, you know, yeah. I don't he, he's not Chris Godwin, um, but, you know, I, I do think he's, um, he's got a little bit of Godwin. He's got a little bit of. Deontay in him, he's, he's he's quick and fast. Like he he does go up and make plays and ridiculous contested catches and one handed catches, and he does have a rapport with Fields. I'm not concerned. Anyone they bring in is only going to help this man. No one they they bring in is going to be like, oh, that's a real bummer for Mooney. Yeah. I'm not going to feel that way. And th- this is a great trade target because his value has nowhere to go but up. Right, yeah. it is yeah. going to go up. I promise you that. And he's still young enough. And in this hate running backs only draft wide receivers world that we live in it's a great target no matter what type of team you have so i fucking love that trade target all right anybody else yeah i got one okay well jason's got i one. got one Kadarius tony <laughs> you gotta go get Kadarius tony right when he got traded to the chiefs it was oh my god or it was like it's time to sell you know, if you could get that first, we debated whether you'd stay or leave for the first, you know, because it was like, holy shit, Kadarius Tony still had that allure, and now he's going to the God landing spot. And even when we came on and talked about it right after it happened, we were like, this is a play, not necessarily for right now. Don't expect him to come into the Chiefs banged up, although he was immediately healthy. Fancy that. <laughs> Color me, yeah. He did, miss, uh, did, he did a little get, bit more. He did, did get banged up for an uh, unrelated injury that he was, that he was injured in 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 New York didn't didn't light the world on fire though right when he came into the Chiefs you've seen him coming on of late you know you see him making some plays little, little bits you see him juking dudes out of their fucking shorts you know what I mean like just putting the brakes on a dude like making yeah. people look silly out there after the catch going up making contested catches Andy Reid loves these type of guys these game breaking type dudes and, and the guys who aren't you know the most uh, polished, well, ready to go, you know, have it together between the helmet. He doesn't mind taking the discount on the troubled youth to, uh, you know, youth shape them into, into, that into, upside. into something that could be great. Right. Yeah. And I think I forget what game it was. I think the announcer was talking about how the general manager was saying they haven't even scratched the surface on the potential of this guy. Right. And if you look at 
the Chiefs, they've got a lot of question marks at wide receiver after this year. What's going to happen with these Juju's free, a free agents? Agent. And MVS stinks. Right. He's not any good. What's And Hardman stinks, too. Hardman, I Hardman's think, is a free, a free agent, agent as well. Well, they, well I, think, I think Tony's what they wanted Hardman to be. And right. Hardman, you saw Hardman come you nailed on. nailed that one right there. Hardman was damn near startable. You were probably starting Hardman before he got hurt this year. Like, he was finally figuring out how to fucking run this offense and how to not they fuck up. They could bring Hardman back on the cheap. Who knows? For yeah. sure. But my point is, Kadarius Tony wants, wants some guys leave and the buzz starts to drum up again with Garrett what, Kadarius Tony. And he gets Tony. a full offseason with Mahomes. Right. The, his value is going up. I promise you that. The offseason is the time where you got to hold your breath with Tony. <laughs> <laughs> But Andy Reid's going to take that beautiful butterfly right under his wing. Yeah. You know, show him where the nice rib spots are and stuff. Show, you know? Don't show him where the wild things are. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just, we're playing a fucking, we're playing fantasy football here. And he's nowhere near, he's not going to cost you anywhere near the first he's now. He's he, just the type of guy that I'm just never going to get out from under. And I know people will constantly come on and say, sell, sell, sell. And I'm going to constantly come on and say, bye, bye, bye. Because these, this is the type of guy. This is this is the one that you want. This is the one that can that can turn and be a, a top twelve, top ten wide receiver if he puts it all together. The mental has always been the problem since day one with this. And if we could just get it together, and they could groom him into being their next Tyree Kill, which is very fucking possible. It's it's just like when the ball is in his hands. Yeah, he's just fucking different than everybody else in the field. And I'm fucking keeping that guy on my team. Right. I don't want to hear about the hamstring. I don't want to hear about selling because of a hamstring. I don't want to s- fucking keep him or buy him. That's it. That's all mm-hmm. you're doing with Kadarius Tony. He, he has even been sniffed off the board in this draft that we've been referencing. Um, I think somebody just took him. Did they? Yep, somebody took him. If I, I think somebody took him right before I. Right if before he I never him. comes to fruition, I'm not going to be upset about 10, me 11. acquiring him. Like the the, it's just too tantalizing. Agreed. And it's it's cheaper right now than it was when he got traded to the Chiefs. And once they figure out that there's going to be wide receivers gone, and well, there's a role that is going to be stepped into again, potentially. The Chiefs have a buy, so he probably won't have played by the time we get this video out. But there is a you know. If they if there is a ramp up of usage and he makes some fucking spectac- some spectacular plays, which he did this past weekend, he got called back and then he scored, scored anyway. Scored again, but if he does, if he gets some decent run and has these big games in the conference or the division, the conference and Super Bowl, I mean the value is going to then go up, and then there will be a ridiculous buzz throughout the entire off season of Kadarius Tony, Kadarius Tony, Tyree Kill, Tyree Kill. And it's just, you know, so you, you, I agree. You, you should get in now. Are you in or out on? I'm in, I'm into a certain, I mean, I'm not paying a first for him. No, no. And I'm no, not no. saying pay a first for him. That was the debate. There, I mean, that what was are going, you, I mean, that what was you, happening when he got traded to the Chiefs. People were throwing around firsts for Kadarius Tony, the people that really liked him. And now he's at a God landing spot. I mean, because he was like a sixth, seventh round startup pick last year. Like he had to have been going mm. in those mid. It's Early first, rounds. He's got the like, draft capital. Yeah, he does have the draft capital. I mean, you know, day ball came in and everybody was like, oh, God. The nerds like the capital until they don't. I mean, what are you paying for him right now? I think you pay it too. All day. All day. He, he, he's too. worth whatever the, you're get, of a guy that you're getting in the, in the, in right. the second round sure. right now. Right. For, right. For Talent for level, he is on par better than yeah. probably every fucking guy coming in this year. I, I don't know about in that. The, in, the, in the second round. In the second round. Yeah, I mean, if 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 he, I mean, he has the talent to be better than any of these he, guys. He does. It, it, that's not an inaccurate statement. So I, 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 I can't you don't talk. have to pay that. That's why we're fucking having sure. him on the trade yeah, target right, video because right. exactly. you don't have to pay what he's probably worth because or there are could, or what he could be right because there are downsides to him and we're fucking gambling here. Yeah. Let me get the guy. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Fucking sevens on the come out, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Get everybody I fired want, up. I think you don't want on the come out. Everybody oh, wins. Come out. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't play. I don't play craps. It's fun. I don't get really on a get roll. It. I don't really get it. It's fun. It's the, it's the best odds, but I don't. It's understand. better than playing roulette. You got to get on a roll. You know, you get on a roll. The whole table's winning. Everybody's fucking feeling great. The ladies bringing beers faster than she's ever brought them before. People are just fucking. Beers. 
whatever you drink. Beers. If I'm in Vegas, I'm going with hard liquor. Like, you gotta get your money's worth because like, you have to lose free it on the table and yeah, the give liquor's me the, free. Give me the penny you slots. Tip Bring over you the bourbon. <laughs> oh, pen, oh, slots. Get rid of them. The most boringest thing I've ever fucking done. You just like sitting there. Oh, like it's a so boring. Ger- you talk about geriatric. Oh yeah. You're just like ding 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 ding. It's the fucking worst. I spent I spent like ten minutes on video it. poker. Like, I'm out. Video poker. I can do video poker. I'd rather play some real poker. Let me go play a, a human. Yeah, those guys just take it too serious. I, I could do just sit, just relax and just yeah, slap a couple buttons. I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm, let me go I'm see a show. Is Brittany in town? What's going on here? Easy. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> I think John Legend's doing a um, uh, what, what's it called there? Yeah, a, um, uh, I'll go a see residency. The, residency. I'll yeah. go see the Blue Man Group before I fucking hit a slot. Cirque du Soleil. Sure. Mm. Maybe go see Wayne Newman. Newton. Wayne Newton. Not Wayne Newman. <laughs> Newman. <laughs> all right. Don't want to see Wayne Newman. I'll hit the slots. <laughs> thanks for thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, all that jazz. Be sure to go check out all the other content. We appreciate you. Hope you got something out of this. Um, and uh, we'll be back with more mocks, rookie profiles. Just keep you rolling all off season long. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>